Okay guys, good morning from Dubai. We are here on the beautiful Blue Water Island. I've just been doing my morning yoga routine here. So I'm feeling fantastic. That's a lie, but I do normally come for my morning run here. And I would like to come and do a yoga routine here, but let's talk about the Whoop. This video is gonna be my honest review of the Whoop. I've been wearing it now for three months, and I wanna tell you guys about how it's literally changed my life, changed my sleep, and I think it makes me a better person. It makes it physically and, and potentially mentally. So let's get into it. Okay, so initially I was looking at buying an uh, Aura ring, an Aura ring, I think that's how you say it. And I was starting to do what I always do, which is watch a load of YouTube videos on other people's reviews. And then I watched a couple of videos comparing the Aurora ring to the Whoop band. And pretty much every single review said the Whoop band was way better. So hence why I went for the Whoop. The Aurora ring is around $300 for the base model, which is around 215 pound. And the Whoop is actually a subscription based model. So they kind of catch you out. You get the band for free, but then you have to pay for six months, 12 months, or 18 months of basically you paying for an app and for the data they provide you with. So for the six month membership, that's gonna be around 25 pound a month. If you go for the longer, the 18 month membership, that's gonna be around 15 pound a month. But the good news is, if you refer a friend to Whoop, you get a month free. So I'm hoping what's gonna happen, you guys are gonna use my code, which gives you a month free and then not only do you get a month free, but then I get a month free. And hopefully if enough of you get a whoop on my code, which is in the description, then maybe I'll get this for free for the next couple of years. But let's wait and see. I need to tell you guys about it first before you go and buy one. So initially the membership model put me off. I already have a long list of memberships coming out my bank account and I don't even know what half of them are. So that kind of put me off initially, but after wearing this for three months, I am completely happy to pay a membership for this. Think of it like a gym membership. You buy a gym membership, hoping to improve your life, to improve your health. That's exactly what this is, but only for your sleep, which is arguably one of the most important components of your life, if not the most important when it comes to health and recovery and all that stuff. So that's the way I like to think of it. And again, if you guys sign up your other friends, you're gonna get months free and it's gonna save you a lot of money. So just think of it that way. Okay, so when I say I have not took this off my wrist for three months, that is no word of a lie, that is no exaggeration charge this you can actually keep it on your wrist and you use this little device here you literally charge this with a usb and then when your whoop is starting to run out of battery you literally clip that on and it charges on your wrist which is very convenient and i normally just clean under it with a little bit of soap when i'm in the shower because otherwise it's going to get a bit dirty especially if you're sweating and doing a lot of sport there is a crazy tan line i believe it's very easy just to clap clip on and off as you can see as a tan line and I haven't even been in the sun that much so yeah I do recommend taking it off every now and then just to clean behind the sensor and to clean your wrist if you can so also you can get lots of different colors and bands to make it nice to make it personal to you but I just like the black one because it's nice and subtle and I know you're also probably wondering Louis you're also wearing another smartwatch this is the Garmin Phoenix 6 Pro and I'll tell you why I'm also wearing that as well as the Whoop so yeah these two gadgets stay on me all time, at all times. This one I take off the bed, this one I leave on just all day, every single day. So here, my review of the Whoop. First of all, I'm gonna run you through the app. The app, the interface of the app is very, very, very nice. As you can see, there's four categories. There's an overview, then there's strain, then there's recovery, and then there's sleep. So, sleep basically starts recording I don't know how it does it, but basically whenever you lie down in bed, it kind of knows when your heart rate drops to a certain level and it starts recording your sleep. So I've never once had to log my sleep. It just knows when I fall asleep and when I wake up. And then after about a week or two, it's gonna start telling you how much sleep you need, what time to go to bed and all that stuff. For me, the most important part of this is the recovery section. So if you look in the recovery section, you have HRV, rest and heart rate, sleep, Time, so like the number of hours minutes you spent in bed and then respiratory rate and then the final category is strain so you have max heart rate average heart rate and calories burn so let's deep dive into a couple of these and I'll talk you through my experience using the app and what I like about it and what I don't like about it right guys I'm really starting to sweat here so let's crack on with my honest review and my opinion using the whoop first things first I'll tell you about the first time I drank a few too many beers whilst wearing the Whoop. This is what was the game changer for me. 
we actually on our flight over here as you guys saw i had a lot of drinks on the plane and the next morning i woke up checked my recovery score and it was literally like zero like in the red the lowest it could possibly be and that shows how detrimental alcohol is to your recovery think of alcohol and stuff like weed cannabis and stuff like that as more of a tranquilizer if you put an animal to sleep with a tranquilizer dog you don't actually put it to sleep you put it in like a a tranquilized state so if I drink alcohol or smoke weed which I don't I do drink alcohol but I don't smoke weed I'm actually putting myself just before bed by the way it doesn't really matter so much in the day but if I do it just before bed what I'm doing is I'm delaying the REM sleep and the deep sleep so therefore there's less, less chance of me getting into those stages of sleep which therefore puts me at a lower recovery rate so if I drink 10 pints and go to bed like there is no chance I'm getting any recovery so the next day is gonna be a write-off I'm not able to go to the gym, I'm not able to train, and actually it's going to be detriment, detrimental to my fitness. I'm actually going to go, I'm going to take two steps back rather than a step forward. And that can last for two or three days after a heavy session on the beer. So that's the biggest game changer for me. That has changed my life. Ever since wearing the Whoop, I've literally, I don't know, I think I've drank a handful of times, two or three times in total, because I'm scared about my recovery store recovery school i think when i go to a beef in the summer i'll take this off because i'm that i'm that worried about it nah i'm joking but again it just opens your eyes to something that i was completely unaware of the next thing which i really like about it is the fact that if you play around with different things supplements nighttime routine morning routine it's going to really change the way you recover so for example cbd you're not allowed to take cbd here in dubai but when i took it at home um the recovery was like literally night and day difference which is crazy because i was all, always unaware whether cbd actually worked or not but definitely whenever i had cbd at home it would take the recovery score to the next level again things like zma zinc magnesium supplements which i would take before bed they've actually not really done anything at all to my recovery store recovery score things like eating junk food binge eating before bed again makes the recovery score go down so all these different things really really play a good part in why the whoop is so good to me like all these things have made me change these bad habits and start to work more on my sleep and work more on a nighttime routine to make sure that i get good sleep another thing i have to say is this does track calories but it doesn't really track activities so for example if i go for a run it's not going to track the distance of the run the cadence the heart rate well it will track the heart rate but it's not going to track the distance it's not going to give me a gps of where i ran it's not going to track the elevation and stuff like that which is why i still wear the garmin for when i want to track more specific things to run in and um, it does track pretty much every activity weightlifting running crossfit swimming all that good stuff and it gives you your max heart rate your average heart rate and your calories burn throughout that exercise. So it is very good for that. One thing that I've noticed, which I actually had a call with Whoop and I got to ask him a load of different questions, is the calories burnt. So when I used to wear the Apple Watch, my calories burnt sometimes would be like 2,000, 3,000 on top of my basal metabolic rate. So it could be like, I could be burning like 4,000 calories in total a day, which makes me think that I can eat a lot and still remain in the deficit. Well, since wearing the Whoop, I have never been in a crazy, crazy calorie deficit. Like, if I do a highly active day, the Whoop's gonna say I've burnt like maximum 3,000 calories. So, honestly, the Garmin also tracks calories. And I would say, say at the end of a day where the Whoop says I've burnt 3,000 calories, the Garmin will say I've burnt 3,500 calories. So, I think somewhere in between is good. I think the Garmin overestimates, and I definitely think the Whoop underestimates. But one thing that I've noticed, as the Whoop starts to learn my body, it's getting more and more accurate with the calories. So for example, I track the run on both, and now both on a 30 minute 5K, say I burn 450 calories. So definitely the Whoop is becoming more accurate the more I wear it, so just bear that in mind. But again, it's gonna give you a shock if you're used to wearing an Apple Watch all the time and you think you're burning this many calories. That's potentially why I don't lose as much weight as what I used to, is what I used to think I was losing, because I wasn't actually burning anywhere near as many calories as what i think so definitely it's a good thing when it comes to that it definitely underestimates and whoop have even said that themselves they're still working on the data to try and get it perfect but i definitely think underestimating calories burnt is better than overestimating so that way you're not going to gain weight so another thing that i love is day strain basically if you get a high recovery you're going to be allowed to have more day strain so if i have a really good green recovery i can go for a run i can go to the gym I can do my 20,000 steps and I perform optimally. However, if I get a really bad recovery, 
then it's only going to allow for me to do one of those things. It'll allow me to just go for a run, to just do my 20,000 steps, or to just go to the gym. It's going to it's gonna prevent me from overtraining and therefore reverse my fitness gains. So this is actually really interesting. I got Joel and Uncle Mike on the Whoop. They both absolutely love it. They were the first two people to sign up using my code and they haven't looked back since. Very interesting. Mike was really loving the gym, eating well, doing really well with his training, and he started to train twice a day. His whoop immediately told him that he was over straining, so therefore over training, and he wasn't getting enough sleep to recover. So immediately he had to take a rest day to get his recovery back into the green. And then he realized that there was no need for him to train twice a day because it was detrimental to his actual training. So that's a crazy thing. Mike, without his whoop, he would never have known that. So he could have gone on to do that, developed a good routine in his head what he thought was good for his training, but it was actually bad for his training. So definitely opens your eyes to stuff like that. There have been times where I've done a run and gym like seven days in a row, and then I start to see that my recovery is no longer going into the green. That's when I know it's time to take a rest day or even two rest days, just do my steps and focus on recovering. So again, that has been a complete game changer for me. Without the whoop, I would be running and training every day because I, I, can, I feel like I can do that, but the whoop is telling me that it's bad to do that, so I know to take a rest day. So. That is definitely another game changer, I think, in terms of wearable heart rate wrist fitness trackers. Okay, so I'll quickly take you through the app. The app is probably my favorite thing about Whoop. The interface is absolutely unreal. You have four categories. You have overview, strain, recovery, and sleep. Sleep basically tells you how many hours of sleep you had and how much sleep you needed. And it's gonna give you a little notification at night, what time you should go to bed and how many hours you should go to sleep for. Then you have recovery, which again is zero to 100%. And in there, the categories are HRV, which is heart rate variability. That's basically the rhythm of your heartbeat. Then you have rest and heart rate, you have sleep, and you have respiratory rate. Respiratory rate is very, very interesting. That should pretty much always stay the same. But a little bragging point that we have currently is people that are getting corona, they see a massive increase in res respiratory rate, which is actually a bad thing. So they're taking more breaths whilst they're sleeping and that then leads to them going to get a corona test and testing positive. That's happened so many times and Whoop are posting a lot about that. So you can almost detect getting corona or whenever you're gonna get sick before you actually get it. Very, very interesting. You can read about all this stuff on the Whoop website. They have a really cool blog and they also have podcasts which I've been listening to. So Whoop is definitely pretty sophisticated stuff. The next page is strain. So as I said, day strain. It's got your max heart rate, your average heart rate, and calories burn. Again, as I said, my calories burn, it's saying on average on a day-to-day -day basis, is 2,596. So I'm basically burning 2,600 calories a day on average. So if I eat any more than that, I'm gonna be gaining weight, and if I eat any less than that, I'll be losing weight. So very, very important to think about that. And as I said, I do think it's a slight underestimate, but again, it's better to be underestimated than overestimated. And the final page is the overview. That's where you can see last night's sleep and all that good stuff. And then there are a few different features. Like for example, one that I've been loving is Whoop Community. So it's funny, obviously me, Mike, Joel, Francis all live together. Mike and Joel both have Whoop bands. So we have a little, a little competition in our group. Who can burn the most calories, who can get the best recovery, and who can get the most sleep. And it's funny because I can wake up every morning, I can check how long Mike slept, I can check how long Joel slept, I can see how many how many calories Mike burn, I can see how many calories Joel burn, I can see, I can literally see all of their data and then we can compare it and we can argue about who's is better and who did what and why we got these scores. So again, it's very, very interesting to just be able to compare data with friends, people that you're living with, people that you spend every day with. So if your family had it, you could compare data with your mum and dad, see how different their data is. So. If you wanna join Whoop and be part of my team that I set up, I basically set up a Whoop squad for everyone on Instagram. So anyone that bought a Whoop through my link on Instagram, we have a team, there is 70 of us and we can all see each other's data. We can all tag each other and compare data and be like, haha, Louis, look, I got a better sleep than you. All of that good stuff. And also I can see my friends, say for example, they've got a low recovery rate. I can ask them if they were on the beers last night or what they did before bed to get such a low recovery score. So again, very, very interesting. So I already have a Whoop Instagram community. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna set up another group for everyone on YouTube. So if you do buy a Whoop, we can have a YouTube Instagram group and obviously feel free to join Instagram and YouTube and we can just stay in touch with everyone. It's pretty good because I can see if someone's burnt like 3,000 calories, I can literally see every activity they've done to play to get to burn that calorie. So for example, I've got someone on my group here, Barra Collins. 
He has done weightlifting, he's done walking, and he's done Australian football, and he has burnt a shitload of calories today. So well done to Barry Collins if you're watching this. He's from Australia. And yeah, I can literally do that with anyone and everyone in my groups, which is pretty sick, I think. And again, I can give Joel a hard time if he slept too long. Mike literally sleeps like six or seven hours a night, and I, his recovery is good every night, which is pretty insane. Shows what a genetic freak Uncle Mike is. And yeah, I just absolutely love this. So I highly, highly, highly recommend it. And again, if you are gonna go for runs and stuff, I definitely recommend an Apple Watch or a Garmin to track like the more like specifics in running and stuff like that. If you're just weight training, doing all that good stuff and not really too bothered about times and cadence and all that stuff, then the Whoop is the one for you. And again, I think it's more tailored to people who actually care about their health and fitness. It's not for the daily person who, well, it, it's an it could be for a lazy person because it could be for a lazy person. They're going to see how many how many li how little calories they actually burn and how bad their lazy habits affect their sleep and their day to day life. So again, it could be for the lazy person, but it could be for the athlete who's into health and fitness as well. So it is for everyone. That's my sale. That's my sales pitch. It didn't mean it for it to be a sales pitch, but I do really, really like the Whoop, and I highly recommend it. And I can't imagine taking it off anytime soon. I hope this video was interesting. I know a lot of you had a lot of questions about it. And I didn't want to answer any questions until I had experienced it for at least a few months, and so I could give my honest review. Finally, if you do want to swipe up and order a Whoop, swipe up. You don't swipe up on YouTube. If you do want to cop a Whoop for you or for, for a friend. Make sure you use my link in the description. You'll get your first month for free and I'll get a free month, which is a win-win for both of us. And yeah, hope you enjoyed the video. Back to the normal vlogs. Finally, if you do want me to review anything else, wearable fitness trackers, whatever it is, I'll buy it, I'll review it, I'll tell you what I think of it. I have got a bit of experience with this now, so I do love it, I am passionate about it. Thanks for watching and I'll see you guys in the next one.